Hey, Scotty, would you like to dive back into Ravnica with me? Ooh, that is much better. Okay, let's do that. Hello, everyone, and welcome to another one of our Lazy Stream unboxing videos, the series where Scotty and I take the time to unbox products and read our cards while letting you know how good they are and if the product is truly worth your time and money. So grab your favorite drink, sit down, lay back and relax as we dive into this unboxing. And today, I'm your host, Vlad, and this is Scotty. Thank you very much, Scotty, for this introduction. Today, we are having a look at the collector boosters for the Mirza Carnival of manner expansion this is well the third of the unboxings that we've done so far and this has been printed in japan that's great usually the cards printed in japan tend to be less bringly than the american ones but that's not always certain usually it tends to be that the belgian ones are best but a collector booster tend not to be printed in belgium for some reason anyway so that's it okay so basically we are opening this quite late in the unboxing times i know and that's because we open our own car marketplace here in the uk it's uk exclusive so if you're in the uk and you want to buy sell any of these kind of cards that we will be unboxing today uh, well you'll be able to find them on our website note that we are not a shop we just provide the place so we will not sell any of these cards ourselves but anyway that's the shameless plug right there and yeah that's why we've been so busy and we're falling behind depending on when you see this video <laughs> but anyway we just want to get through it and let you know our opinion on how good these cards are and the products overall it tends to be that these hold quite a good amount of value in the range for the normal expansions not the necessarily the commander or or modern ones or that we've seen so far so let's see if this is the case here as well and we have the 12 boosters right here oh there you go and the box is a usual very beautiful a little shiny and uh, yeah quite quite cute and then we have the 12 booster box uh, sorry 12 booster packs and we shall see usually they have a pull tab let's see how easy it is to do that somewhere around. yep as usual i am afraid and terrified of destroying the cards when i do this because i have had bad experiences before so i'll be using the scissors to do it i apologize anyway there you go here we go now japanese cards if i'm not mistaken they are a little bit backwards so we'll start from here yep they are so they start with the commons and the different colors in a different direction so we have the commons here first one's jade analyst then we have some Gore gorehound rubble belt maverick foil and then we have the thinking cap and start the uncommons into the exposed the culprit faith light and see these roots and then we have the mountain well, that's quite nice the ecumenopolis or impossible land and full art so that's cute and then the first is the showcase magnifying lens demand answers and then we have well, drum roll makeshift binding foil magnifying it's only a common but that's very cute and i really love the colors that they use here then we get our first rare rageous robbery it's an instant cost x and two black pip second opponent exiles the top x cards of the every library phase then you may look at and play those cards for as long as they retain a remain exile if you cast a spell this way you may spend mana as though it were any mana for five to cast it so that's quite quite annoying and remember that unless it says face down when you exile you always exile face up so that's the exception to the rule and we put that rare over there and then we continue we have our first extended one which is drag the canal we've seen this before and so it's nice to see it in the extended art if you're a fan of them i prefer borderless art to extended art because it changes the normal art and then we have copy catchers this is one of the commander cards it's a 2-1 fair that costs two it's fine whenever you surveil you may pay two and if you do you create a token that's a copy of copy catchers so that's nice if you surveil a lot i guess we won't get into the commander cards until we open the box proper and then we have homicide investigator okay human detective in the dossier version it is a 2-2 two -two cost two with one and generic and one black whenever one or more non docking creatures you control die you get to investigate this ability triggers on one's turn quite restrictive unfortunately so not as good and then the last one is assassin's trophy wow assassin's trophy in the extended art foil that is nice that is a nice pull actually that is a very nice pull there you go if you need a fancy assassin's trophy there you have it and then you get a clue token and a art card that's interesting that is a first i've not seen that this done in collector boosters before where there's a foil art card behind it i don't 
don't know if it's a foil card. It's supposed to be like a piece it together kind of thing, but that's interesting. All right. Well, let's open this up. Oh, that's interesting. I'm just going to flip it around like that. So, yeah, Assassin's Trophy foil could be good. It's played in a lot of things, especially in Commander. It's a very good card. So, yeah, quite a good card in overall. And uh, I'm glad they reprinted that. Then we start again with the commons. Unscrupulous Agent, Season Consultant. And we have Pick Your Poison. I won't show you guys these ones too much because in the end, we've seen most of, if not all of them. So the commons and uncommons, we can kind of sort of breathe through unless there's a reason to stop so here we have the forest if you like these lands that's great i'm not too fussed by them but also i don't think they're the greatest i think that there are better full art lands that they've done before <coughs> the forex will be one ink ones the oil slick ones were amazing now we have murder oh, i love this version of murder and the magnifying glass or the lens version and then we have the winds wisp drinker vampire and the dossier version i will keep the dossier version that is not a rare here question mark i don't know all right then we have the case of the uneaten feast so that's our first rare which we've seen before info. and then we have unyielding gatekeeper okay this is a three two that costs two it's white and now if cleric they can disguise for two but it is turn face up it's another target non land permanent if you controlled it return it to the battlefield that otherwise the controller creates a two two white glue detective creature token so that is not bad at all you can either exile something or um, re-TB something that you've exiled to save it. And yes, yeah, not bad. It's it's easily killable with a shock, though. But other than that, it's not bad. Okay, so then we have... Ooh, Havoc Eater. I love the illustration either way. I love the colors there. So this is an elemental. It's a 3-3 three, three that costs a whooping 7 with 2 red pips. It has flying whenever it enters battlefield for each opponent. Go up to one target creature and that opponent controls and put X plus 1 plus 1 counter on Avocator, where the total power of creatures go to this way. That can be insanely strong in command. As I said, I won't get too much into these cards. And, and if you are interested in it, go and watch our video reviews for them. And there, I will tell you how good they are. Analyze the pollen sorcery in the uh, well. Yeah, it's not it's not foil, but it's a magnifying lens rare. I think this is one of the first ones that we have. That's a magnifying lens rare. So that is pretty cool. So it costs green. It's a sorcery as an initial cost this spell you make a life evidence eight search your library for basic line card evidence is collected instead search your library for a creature line card reveal that card put it into your hand and shuffle so it's a tutor not bad for the cost um do, 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 do. i guess yeah why not we can keep it in a special pile right under here so we can make a little little difference and then the last one is haunted bone brute so the haunted bone brute yeah haunted bone brute <laughs> not, not bone broth <laughs> it is a 6 2 skeleton beast that costs 3 as black has menace and when it enters battle will target your opponent and creates 2 1 1 white dog creature tokens and when it dies each opponent loses 3 life and you can disguise it trades down easily but it also can kill stuff quite easily upwards so unlimited could be good and then we have yet another version of this so I'm trying to understand how you go about I guess I don't have the actual thing yet I don't know somebody in the comments down below, let me know what the hell do I do with these cards We'll figure it out by the end, I hope. <laughs> anyway, so far, the opening has not given us anything of great value. None of the big cards. I mean, the Assassin's Trophy has not, not a bad pool, but in of itself is not the greatest. Okay, so we have the Goblin <laughs> Mask Maker. I like goblins in general, and this is quite, you know, diligent in its craft. So that's pretty nice. And then we have our Tight Albine, and then Hot Shot Investigators, so on and so forth. Usual common. Sanguine Savior, Crime Novelist, <laughs> I like that one, Room Brand Juggler, uh, Scene of the Crime, and then we have a place, so that's three out of five lines that we've seen, then we get Covert Ambusher in the Dossier version, and then we get, oh, the man answers in the Foil Magnifying Lens version, and we get a lot of Wearer Faces, very nice card, that's the first rear, and then we get Hide in Plain Sight, and that's an interesting sword three cost four look at the top five cards in your library call two of them put the rest at the bottom of your library in a random order so that's not bad uh, if you're playing with maybe a morph deck and, and commander it uh, might be interesting then we have Duskana, the rage mother so this is quite uh, an issue cigar this 
is a Naya and two generic legendary creature bear. It costs five. When it enters the battlefield, you draw a card for each creature you control with base power and tough 2 2. So, bear deck. And whenever a creature you control with base power and toughness 2 2 attacks, it gets plus 3 plus 3 enter the end of the turn. Very good for a bear deck, actually. <laughs> That's, uh, I know quite a few people that ha have bear decks, and this could be a good card for that. Then we get Assemble the Players. Oh, wow. And the Magnifying Lens. It's an enchantment cost 2. You may look at the top card. No, you, yeah. You may look at the top card of your library at any time. Once each turn, you may cast this creature spell with power 2 or less than the top of your library. Very, very strong. It allows you to look at the top card and play it if it's in the right card. Ooh, Judith. Carnage Connoisseur in the Dulcier. is a 3-4 human shaman. Costs 5 with racked in the cost. Legendary creature, of course. Whenever you cast a non stand or a sorcery spell, choose one. That spell gains as such a life link. So that's not until the end of turn. So that stays. Or you create a 2-2 red M creature token with this creature dies. Deals 2 damage to each opponent. Can be quite annoying. And if you're not dealt with early on for limited and yeah cool okay next up we have a detective and a spider token so this one is different and we don't have the little clues at the back because i can see here for example this one builds like that so i don't know if it's a two card or a four card or god knows how many cards thing it looks like it can continue sideways so we'll see later how it goes i'll uh, put it here for now and we'll open the next booster why not so how have you been liking the latest expansion i have quite enjoyed outlaws of thunder injunction that's when we're opening this but i did quite look forward to this expansion despite the fact that it feels kind of weak in the lore department and i'm a huge uh, lover of overall good story <laughs> so uh yeah it, that's the the gist of it for these expansions it feels that after the aftermath it just went downhill uh with that story in general and i come from the place where you know you had the or the sagas block and the tempest blocks and they were had so many 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 good stories it feels a bit like they've lost their charm and focus on the story overall and this tried to make its own story in each set but the overarching story i mean that's kind of what's been lost i believe dramatic accusation and the beautiful magnifying lens then we have auspicious arrival and okay massacre girl gnome killer that's nice we already have um the other massacre girl when we open our african remaster so this is the first massacre girl that we see is a, a four mythic so this is a four four that costs four mana creatures you control have weather which means the deal damage to creatures in the form of minus one minus one counters whenever a creature an opponent controls dies if its toughness was less than one draw a card very 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 nice i really like it i love this card i think it's quite quite good uh, in general well, since it's a mythic maybe we should put it away and uh, to be fair maybe let's do a pile of the good cards and read view them at the end i think to see and recap what we got and then we can look forward to that okay then we get prof's eating memory um it's a legendary enchantment it costs two it's blue when it enters the battlefield you draw a card you have no maximum hand size and at the beginning of common in your turn if you've drawn more than one card this turn you put an x plus one plus one counters on target creature you control where x is the number of cards you've drawn great in the right deck and then we have also it's, it's very flavorful because the the guy can remember anything and everything so next we have armed with proof it's an enchantment it's the commander card it costs three it's white and when it enters the battlefield you can get to investigate twice clues you control are equipment in addition to the other types and they can equip for two generic angus creature plus two plus zero eh, could be okay we'll have to see okay then we have carlos a visionary inventor in the showcase dossier version and then the last one is urgent necropsy it costs four and it's Golgari and it's an instant it's a mythic as well as an initial cost to cast this spell collect evidence x where x is the total amount of value of the permanence this spell targets okay and then destroy up to one target artifact or up to one target creature up to one target enchantment and up to one target planeswalker can be really really strong and annoying and that's an extended art foil not much in the other region of good cards i don't know it seems a bit underwhelming also we have not yet seen any of the surveillance 
Uh, I think maybe this box doesn't contain as many variations as we were hoping, but hey, oh, maybe it gets better. We're almost done with the first half either way. And as we continue on, I always enjoy unboxing these for you guys and to show you the kind of beautiful cards and version that you can get. And I honestly believe that they've outdone themselves yet again with this expansion and the different kinds of versions. I do believe that the extended arts are getting a bit meh at the moment, but you know, you've seen them once, you've done them so many times. Ooh, the swamp and that's five we're missing the, the island so far okay then we have on the job okay magnifying and then we have well it's hard to grasp these cards they're a different print than what i'm used to crawl whip cracker and the dossier version now we have oh lush particle okay I, we'll get one foil <laughs> foil one a normal one so that's one of them at least and then we get another assassin's trophy and the extended art and feather radiant arbiter this is an angel four three comedic card that costs three okay that's interesting for boros and it's flying lifelink and whenever you cast a non-creature spell that targets only feather you may choose any number of other creatures that spell could target and pay two for each of those creatures if you do each of those creatures copy that spell uh, the copy targets that new creature okay well that's not bad well, as i said we'll analyze these but that's not bad at all and then we get oh finally one of the first boardless shadowies backstreet this is a plain swamp version so this is ors of and i love it ah this is so nice i was looking forward to these uh, borderless version ones and surveillance very very nice and then we got reenact the crime well, of course seen this before in the magnifying version okay oh uh, so we have already seen this card okay so maybe there is only two who knows we'll see um oh, so continue with the with the first half why not that way we can keep track of where we're going and where we've been there we go so yeah as i was saying the extended arts have gotten a bit tiresome because well it's just uh well the same illustration and i think maybe if they added a little bit less of them and a bit more value of the other ones that'd be nice but then again then you have too many of the other ones so it's a tricky situation on what we do anyways we we have an island and to be fair the island is swamp uh, you all can only notice it side by side but from far away with the foiling it kind of looked the same it doesn't add up there you go and the magnifying and then we have deduced foil and the magnifying i really like this card the magnifying version and really really cool then we get oh cranko's buzz crusher which we've seen before this is a well rare and then oh cryptex okay it costs too generic it's an artifact you tap to collect three evidence and add one man of any color put an unlock counter uh on cryptex and then you sacrifice to surveil three then draw three cards activate only if it has five or more unlock counters on it it's an interesting card it's kind of slow for me but uh, i mean collecting evidence is fairly fairly simple but anyway then we have churnal serenade it costs six it's a sorcery it's black with double black pip surveil three then turn a creature card from graveyard to the battlefield with finality counter on it which means then you exile it if it dies again and exile serenade with three time counter on it and you suspend it for three wow okay so you can do it again wow this is strong nice i uh, wonder what deck uses that that's going to be interesting and we have wojek investigator and the dossier version rear and we have no witnesses okay it's a sorcery it's a board wipe each player who controls the most creature investigates then destroy all creatures very very cute card and foil extended oh the doggo is back oh yes this is boil oh yeah that's cute all right all right let's start with the second half of this unboxing and uh, yeah i don't know why but it feels a little bit more underwhelming this version of the collector booster not because we didn't open some amazing cards it just feels that you're already getting a lot of the dossier and of the magnifying lens versions in the deck that it doesn't really feel like you're getting a lot of extra and since the other versions that you can get which are the textured ones or with the different stamps are so much rare or rarer to get in here well it's a bit disappointing that's that's I would like to say because yeah it just feels like you're getting more of the same cards and as I said once you get a bit tired of these extended art cards well you're opening this hoping to get value then you know and uh, yeah out of value then you're just gambling as with any any unboxings okay fanatic strength and the magnifying lens then we get slides from the shadows and the magnifying uh, lens it feels like we're getting more of the same and not that much value um, 
in overall here. I think they've done a better job with it with the Outlaws of Thunder Junction. But we'll see. I haven't opened them yet. Wolso's Rage, uh, Foil, and then, ooh, Cryptic Coat and the Extended Art. Quite a nasty little card. And then we get Nelly Borka, Impulsive Accuser. <laughs> it's an Impulsive Accuser. Okay, I don't know how that works, but okay. 2-4 Human Detective. Oh, it's a detective, that's why. Uh, costs four with Boris and it's Vigilance Legendary Creature. When it attacks suspect target creature, they go at all suspected creatures. Whenever one or more creatures an opponent controls, deal common damage to one or more of your opponents. You and that controller or those creatures each draw a card. Hey, it's a, it's a good politics card. It's pretty funny. I think he goes creatures, so why not? Ooh, War Leader's Call. That is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful illustration by Francis Ne. It's really nice. That is so gorgeous. All right, so they cost three with Boris in a cost creatures you control get plus one plus one and whenever a creature enters the battlefield in your control what is called is one damage to each opponent this is fun no mistaken is played in constructed decks i remember the format but that is a good card and then we have officious interrogation foil rear and then we have a bat and a thopter there you go oh, yeah uh, that wasn't a bad one but i guess so not a lot of lands we've only seen two and uh, all in the same booster as well so there you go and uh yeah it's i was hoping to see a bit of a different variety of things that you can get in here even just different versions of the same cards that you can open because realistically we're just opening the same cards over and over um so it'll be nice to see a little bit of more variation when you're spending a premium for it and then we have of course we're of course to kill so and then oh under city sewers again in the foil version and undergrowth recon mythic extended art and serene sleuth which is a 2-2 human detective costs two it's white when it's battlefield you investigate at the beginning combat on your turn investigate for each goaded creature you control then each creature you control is no longer goaded okay so this is a counter to all the goaded creatures i understand then we have forensic gadgeteer and <laughs> the forensic gadgeteer is a 2-3 vidalkin artificer detective go go gadget it costs three as blue whenever you cast an artifact spell you investigate activate abilities of artifacts you control costs one less to activate this effect can't reduce mana okay so i don't know i don't think they've printed this one before if they have i don't remember but it could be really good in some commander decks for sure those artifact heavy ones of course and then we can croak in extended art and a skeleton very beautiful actually very very well done and i love that and then another detective kid okay one more than up us. we have four more boosters including this one and then we're done so oh, here we go here we go we go let's see what do we get here here yeah anyway i hope you've enjoyed this expansion while you were playing it if you played limited i heard a lot of fun stories that you can have done with the suspect and it's always nice to see new mechanics i think this expansion really had a lot of really cool mechanics placed in and it was really well thought out regarding that sign we'll go with the man but other than that as i said hmm, call a surprise witness that is a beautiful illustration oh yeah because it's this the ghost uh, <laughs> of the person that was killed <laughs> okay of course that's really uh, interesting interesting um then unauthorized exit the person that got killed and then and then we have a case of the ransack lab and the foil version and we have hunted bone brute again extended art the duplication is strong in this one show stopping surprise cost five it's an instant it's red double pips choose target creature you control turn it face up and if it's face down then it deals damage equal to its power each other creature could be a really good wipe in the right deck and then we get lazav in the dossier version very cool cool very very cool and then we get incinerator of the guilty okay that's cool i like this dragon it's a pretty good card very 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 strong creature and uh yeah definitely a good card in the right deck voila also they reprinted that nice little dragon i don't remember off the top of your head that was initially printed in the m21 and the latest set of outlaws the thunder junction i hope we do get that one too i love dragons <laughs> but oh shock in foil nice really neony in foil that's fairly cool yeah anyway here we go 
here we go, here we go. What should we get? Uh, oh, lightning helix foil. I like these. I keep these. I always like lightning helixes. Oh, then you got helix eye, Hel helixes, Hel Hel I don't know. <laughs> Chase is on. Uh, Chase is on for those amazing lands and for that vampire that everybody's looking for. Frantic search. And then we get case of the locked hot house and the normal foil. And we got, oh, Leyland of the guild back in extended art. Okay, so this is one of the better cards that you can get. We've already opened one. Yep, very good card. An extended art. And we'll put it in the good cards. And then <laughs> Prince Lifter Ooze. This is adorable. Honestly. <laughs> it's so cute. Okay, so two to use. And that costs two. It's green. Death Touch. When it or another creature you control is turned face up, create a zero zero green ooze creature token with trample. And the token enters battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it, where X is the number of creatures you control. And you can disguise it for. Very nice card. <laughs> I like it. And I love the illustration. Oh, Aurelius Vindicator. Wow. Very, very good card. And the um, Dossier version. But it's not one of the biggest hits of the set, but it's still a very good card. Then we have the Pride of Oak Clade. And wow. And that Dossier. Oh, this is the special Dossier version with the invisible ink. I don't know if you can tell on camera, but it does have invisible ink that's really really cool that's the first one that we see as my shinier it reminds me of how they foiled or shined the if i'm not mistaken in fire action will be one it's just the same shininess that you can get and that was uh it's a shame that it wasn't a bigger hit but that's nice to see a different version only one per box so the chances are low so far for us with nothing, nothing of value to show for it. We have had some some decent pulls, but it's not really exciting cards because as I said, we've seen these cards in the normal play booster. So uh, yeah, and you go there. And then we have Soul Innervation, very beautiful art. So yeah, and Aurelia, the law above in the normal version, very nice, strong card. No witnesses in the standard art. The Bold Bender is a four two goblin wizard. It costs four, you can disguise it for two. And when it's turned face up, you may choose new targets for or any number of other spells abilities okay interesting it bounds the spells and it's uh, maybe a, a hint at avatar oh ezrim okay the dossier version that's interesting and then the last wow okay i'll take that a leyland of the guild back foil extended art okay so that's been a hit and another doggo who is so cute yes he is all right okie dokie all right the last booster of the pack here we go let's see what we get here hopefully something nice boy okay and so far this expansion has been pretty cool i do enjoy it i'm looking forward to actually opening the cluedo box and playing it with my wife so we'll see how that goes and here we go neighborhood guardian well done no wait there it's here uh, i think i made a mess the chase is on and foil and then we get fugitive cord breaker and the normal foil and connecting the dots in extended art and ransom note and it costs one generic it's a clue it's an artifact of course when it's a battlefield you surveil one then for two second you choose one either draw card go target creature or cloak the top card of your library very interesting the going part especially if there's going to be suspects we'll check that oh finally lush porticum that's very very nice this selesnium standard art very nice i was hoping to see some more of these and the last rare of it is assemble the players in the foil magnet lens and oh another one i'll show you what we've got so far of the puzzle there you go this is what we got so far of the puzzle and for this i really don't know it could be that it stays here it could be you know no really it doesn't really fit here it doesn't really fit here um it doesn't really fit in any other places so maybe there's like some cards missing i'm gonna have to check that out but that's pretty cool that's the coolest twist of the the box let's review this product do i like it not really no the thing is it's lacking in the versions of uniqueness that you would find in this collector booster which is not a bad thing because it means that most of these cards in the end you can just find them in a play booster so you don't have to spend so much money and if you enjoy them of course if you want a ton a ton of magnifying lens cards or if you want a ton of dossier cards then this is the safest bet because you get more than you get in the play booster otherwise if you're looking for for cool versions this one just falls short because there are no extra 
added special guests that only come in special versions in this or you know added like the uh, big score cards and all the other stuff so the um, overall product for me does not justify the price and therefore for me i do not think it is worth it because the cards you can get you just gambling to try and get the good ones and um, yeah overall that's my opinion about it but if you don't agree or if you have any questions or want to see anything let us know in the comments down below as we read and reply to every one of them and that's it from scotty and i we thank you very much if you like this video please make sure to give a thumbs up and sub to the channel as it does help small channels like ours a lot and until the next one we wish you a lovely day a blessed day be good be kind and we'll see you in the next video bye